Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now, brother ain't doing too well. So I couldn't uh, chime in on the big fight over the weekend. Tim Zhu stops your boy Tony Harrison in round nine in a dominant performance, uh, which I couldn't watch much of until now. So, you know, I leave my comments. I've heard uh, several things, you know, it, to, to look, where it looked fixed or Tony Harrison looked shot, uh, you know, because he wasn't doing anything that normal Tony Harrison does. So, you know, I'm going to look at it myself and um, I'll get back with you on that. But I will chime in on this. Uh, Tim Zhu will be America's darling in a minute here. I know he's Australian. But he will be America's darling uh, because he beat a brother uh, who's uh, considered to be a top five super middleweight, right? So therefore, or excuse me, junior middleweight, right? So therefore, uh, you know, he'll be heralded. Now, us that are old enough to know his father knows damn well that the, his father was bad as hell, okay? I think we all like some cost of Jew. I used to like his demeanor and, you know, he would go about hand people ass up you know I didn't think he was gonna lose anything I mean Ricky Hatton did beat him uh, but uh, I didn't expect that to happen matter of fact we had a lot of confidence in Costa Ju at the time so Tim Ju uh, you know has the same cloth and he did a damn good job uh, but I don't want to uh, say too much about the fight until I've watched it totally but uh, like I say, I just think that Tim Zhu is going to get a lot of props here. Now, what I want to chime in on, though, on the most is this undisputed stuff, right? Jamel Charlo is undisputed, really undisputed. Not like Canelo, where he was given a belt, right? Not like Teofimo Lopez, where there's a franchise title in the mix. And all I don't agree with is that a fighter that's in one sanctioning body gets a shot at undisputed, and after that fight, he's undisputed. That's not fair to the ones who had to go and collect the belts, right? Have uh, a few fights to collect the belts. Like, for example, we'll just stay with Tim Zhu for a minute. I think, for example, he fights Jamel Charlo for the, what is he, WBO mandatory, I think it is. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm just ain't right right now. So he's the, if he beats Jamel Charlo, then he should be the WBO champion, right? Jamel Charlo should get a rematch, and if he beats him again, then he's undisputed because then he should be fighting for the other titles. Uh, and in similar cases, there's a lot of other cases. I just don't think that someone should be able to get anybody with one fight undisputed because for me, undisputed means everything. Uh, you know, boxing, I know we have a lot of sanctioning bodies and people get, you know, uh, it gets diluted and we start talking about champions here, champions there. So me, I stay focused. The ones who want to become the best are the ones that I focus on. And undisputed just means everything. That means you're the champion and there's no doubt about it. And those guys are the ones who went and got these belts from several people. You know, if somebody is just you know, all of a sudden, number two in one sanctioning body, and then he could have one fight, right? And luckily win, and now he's undisputed. It's just not the same as somebody who went and collected the belts. You guys feel me here? That's why I would think that if someone's undisputed, say you have an undisputed champion, right? And somebody fights him that comes from one sanctioning body, then they should be able to get, they're the champion for that sanctioning body, but they have to give this undisputed champion a rematch. If they beat them in the rematch, then they're undisputed, right? Because at least it's almost similar to going to collect the belts. For example, let's go to Devin Haney, right? Devin Haney uh, had to, you know, go to Australia to fight Combosis for the rest of the belts. Actually, he was undisputed because he brought the WBC belt to the, to the table. But he had to sign a contract to fight twice. Then he's undisputed, although he was already. You know, it's things like that. Some people go and do it the hard way, and some people do it the easy way. We don't like that. For example, I'll bring Canelo up again. There's no way I would be calling him undisputed when we know damn well that somebody for the WBC was taking away the hardest guy in the division, David Benavidez, and then we just 
give him the title. Now, people don't realize that. That's why I said over and over and over again. Canelo was given the WBC title, and we're calling him undisputed like we call all the other ones. And this is after, after he didn't fight for undisputed in the middleweight division where he would have really been undisputed with one fight against Demetrius Andrade. So he goes up to the, 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 uh, the weight division higher, and he fights guys that are definitely easier than Demetrius Andrade. I think we can all agree. Billy Joe Saunders, uh, uh, Kyla Plant, and somebody else, Kyla Smith. I think we can all agree that's easier than Demetrius Andre. And then you're given the WBC title. So the, I just can't rate that as people who really earned it the hard way. So anyway, man, I'm going to go on and, uh, you know, take it on in right now and get myself together. But I'm just saying is this. Um, Tim Zhu, he's going to fight Jamel Charlo. Uh, I think if he beats him or whatever, then he should just fight him twice and then he should be undisputed. I don't think there should be any shortcuts until undisputed. That's my point here. But congratulations to them choose. You know what I'm saying? Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.